The latest AI can now clone your voice with just a five second sample. That's a phone call where you only say one sentence. Imagine being accused of saying something you never did and then hearing a recording of you saying it. And it's not just audio, they could fake a video of you too. Deepfake scams are on the rise, so I'm going to talk about the best ways you can protect yourself now so your next video call doesn't become the trailer to a thriller with you as the unwitting star. Hello puppets, welcome to the channel, I'm Meta Puppet. Hit subscribe, like the video if you're into this topic. The future is here and it's armed with technology that's indistinguishable for magic, or at least really good special effects. The woman you're looking at is not real. She's 100% AI generated. This whole video is AI generated. It's gotten to the point where it's so good, you can't believe your eyes, and you shouldn't. A finance worker in Hong Kong was duped by deepfakes of his boss and coworkers during a video call, leading him to transfer a whopping $25 million to the fraudsters. Now what's crazy about this case is that the finance worker actually requested the video call to confirm several emails he had received. He thought it was a phishing scam and he was right and he still got scammed. So how could this guy have better protected himself? Authorities suggest that if you're on a video call where you think you might be getting scammed, there are things you can do like asking the person to prove their authenticity with spontaneous head movements or impromptu quizzes. Now this is awkward, but it may become necessary in the era of deepfakes, especially if you suddenly get a video call from your boss asking you to move $25 million. If you get that call, you ask him or her to move their damn head. In New Hampshire, Democrats were targeted by an AI-generated robocall impersonating President Biden, advising them against voting in a primary. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. This incident was deemed as an unlawful attempt to suppress votes, and it underlines ongoing concerns over deepfake misuse in elections. So how can you personally protect yourself from believing and then subsequently spreading misinformation from AI? The best answer is skepticism. No longer do we live in a world where we turn on the nightly news and accept anything that comes out of the news anchor's mouth as fact. Those days are gone. And that's the way it is. But scammers knowingly prey mainly on older generations precisely because of that conditioning. Now, in this digital era, skepticism is not cynicism. It's wisdom. Faked audio robocalls are bad enough, but imagine seeing a person's face on screen, watching their lips move in sync with the lies they're saying. It's so convincing you literally can't believe your eyes. Remember this, seek verification before accepting information as true. Hit pause, do a bit of detective work, and don't take that sensational video or shockingly realistic call at face value. You might have heard about this. An uproar has erupted over AI-generated images of Taylor Swift. This controversy unfolded on X, formerly Twitter, spotlighting the dark side of deepfake technology. But Swift's legion of fans rallied in a digital counterattack, flooding X with a deluge of content to obscure the invasive images. Now, I think that's awesome. Kudos to them. But it's one thing to be the world's biggest pop star and another to be literally any high school age girl in the world. Deepfake pornography is not new. And when you don't have an army of fans to bury the images, the results can be tragic. For years, countless women have been subjected to a flood of non-consensual pornographic imagery that is easy to distribute online but quite difficult to get taken down. And advances in AI over the past few years have made the generation of realistic pornographic images much, much easier. So how can we protect ourselves and our children from this ongoing problem? Legislative bills aimed at regulating deepfakes have been broached again and again, but serious efforts to implement new policy have repeatedly been tabled by Congress. That might change now due to the Taylor Swift deepfake debacle. New legislation has been introduced, and if enacted, the bill would allow victims of deepfake porn to sue individuals who distributed digital forgeries of them that were sexual in nature. And aside from regulation, tech giants like Microsoft and Google already have large teams working on combating deepfakes, and Meta just published a blog outlining new efforts to label AI-created images and media across its platforms. So regulation is one weapon in this fight. The responsibility of tech giants is another, but what can you do to be a part of the solution? Well, this is where we, the digital community, can step in. There are victims of deep fake pornography who have bravely stepped out into the public spotlight on this issue. Empower them by showing them online support. Love bomb them the way Taylor Swift's fan base showed up for her. 
I guarantee you that there's a victim out there who is too shy or embarrassed to speak out, but who will find comfort from your comments from the safety of their bedroom. This could be your neighbor, your niece, or your daughter. And this kind of public support could literally save their life. Deepfake porn is not just a violation of privacy, it's a digital assault. Go ahead and put your positivity out into the world. We need it. And this simple act can help mobilize communities in defense of privacy and respect in the age of AI. So this fight isn't new. AI and deepfakes, they're the latest characters in the narrative of humanity versus technology. But technology is just a tool. We are the creators, and we can create a future where technology uplifts us, not undermines us. Now, do you share my optimism? What do you think? How should we combat deepfakes together? Drop your thoughts, experiences, and even your skepticism below, and let's keep this conversation going. Let's give Taylor Swift's army a run for their money and see if we can find some awareness and action right here. Hit subscribe and click like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.